in this exercise we will take two inputs from user and we will print the sum of those two inputs so let's get started as you can see we will use these three features we will take user input we will use functions to add those two numbers and we will print it using f strings so first let's create a function and let's call it add norms and what will this function take it will take two numbers so let's call it num1 and num2 and what will it do it will create a new number and it will be equals to num1 plus num2 and it will return the sum so whenever we use this function the output of this function or the return of this function will be this sum okay now let's take the user input so let's say first num equals to input and what will we say to the user we will say enter first number and then the number user will enter first number and let's call it second number and then we say input enter second number so now we have two numbers first and second but as i mentioned in previous exercises these two are not considered integers but when we do numeric operations we always do numeric operations or integers or float right so these are considered string because user can input a b c d e f g h or anything so what we need to do is we need to convert first num to integer and similarly convert second num to integer 2 so when we have converted these two to integers we can do our operations so let's do that and let's say our sum equals to add nums and now let's pass number one what is number one this is first num and what is number two it's second num now let's print now let's use f strings we use f strings because we need to print these variables right and it is very easy to use print variables using f strings so let's say sum of first num and second num is sum as you can see we can just use curly braces and we place variable names inside curly braces and when we run this this will be replaced the variables will be replaced with actual numbers so this is a very powerful tool so f string i like f strings too much now let's run this and let's see if it works so let's enter 45 so go here and enter 45 as the first number, 90 as the second number, and as you can see, we get the response sum of 45 and 90 is 135. So we have created our program and it is successfully working. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.